guys, Stoutmeister here, and hope everyone had a great Easter. Whether you spent your time with your family going to church service, or Easter egg hunting, or celebrating sex and fertility like it was originally intended for, but this is not what this video is about today. As I promised in my official GATG Facebook page, this is going to be my reaction slash commentary on Blood of the Dance Floor's new single that they released, Crucified by Your Lies and they released this song on Easter Day. And that's pretty ironic considering that Mr. Davi Vanity does compare himself to Jesus Christ quite a bit in this song, which is the first thing that I noticed, obviously, not only by the title, but the lyrics. Secondly, I'm looking at the single artwork that was done by Blunt of the Dance Floor for Crucified by Your Lies, and it looks dangerously similar to Metallica's Death Magnetic album cover that was released in 2008. So, yet again, we have another plagiarism act coming from Davi Vanity himself. Because he just has to take everything and rape it in the ass with a fucking cactus from fucking Arizona. Now, I hope you're ready for the ear rape that you're about to witness in this video. Let's go. Here we have the generic beats in the background, as well as the generic woes that you hear in just about every other mainstream song. And for those that don't know, there are three main phrases that must be used in any mainstream course pop slash hip hop slash R&B song. Those phrases are woe, yeah, and a. In this particular song, Blood on the Dance Floor chose to use Whoa. And by God, if it's not generic, then it's just plain shit coming from Blood on the Dance Floor. Let's dive deeper into this song. My name is Jesus, like the man that was crucified. Bitches with their lies almost pushed me into suicide. Call me a rapist, here's the truth, can you take it? Or will you keep believing what these haters keep on saying? Just because your middle name is Jesus or Jesus in the Hispanic culture, does not make you a messiah, Mr. Davi Vanity. And as far as these haters almost pushing you to commit suicide, this is coming from a man that has constantly preached, haters make us famous. Haters don't phase me. Ignore the haters. They're just there to give us more attention. Coming from the same man that makes t-shirts dedicated to haters, make songs dedicated to haters. Ne it, there's a bipolar message coming from Davi Vanity. One minute he's saying, ignore the haters, they're just there, you need them, blah blah blah. Next minute, he's telling haters to eat shit and die. What message are you really trying to get across, Davi Vanity? Do you really support getting hate? Or do you not like getting hate? What is the fucking truth, Davi Vanity? And as far as getting pushed to commit suicide, if you really are feeling that way, Davi Vanity, there are suicide prevention hotlines that you can call. And as far as the rape charges go, you've had multiple allegations against you. Do we really need to go into deeper detail about this? Because there is evidence all over the place talking about this. Just because Jesse Slaughter may have lied about sleeping with you or whatever, does not mean you overlook the other cases that have happened. Rape is not something that you overlook. If there is evidence to prove that a rape happened, then you don't turn a blind eye to it at all. You fucking investigate that and you get put the fuck away. And a lot of the shit that you're moaning about, you got yourself into these bad situations. I never been convicted, but the media's choice to try to pay me as a criminal. I guess you're just addicted. The only thing they want is money, fame, attention, but making accusations complicate the situation. I know that I'm not perfect. I fuck up and make You're man enough to admit to your own mistakes. Bull fucking shit. 
Bull fucking shit. Every time somebody points out a mistake you made or points out a flaw, whether in your plur message or has a simple disagreement with your music, you tell them to eat shit and die. You tell them to die a slow, painful death. You, you just say all sorts of things that go against your plur message. For those that don't know what plur is, it's an acronym that they use called Peace, Love, Unity, Respect that they took from the ravers. You send your cult, the SGTC, to attack the haters. You post personal information about the haters like you did with Lady Nograti's phone number on Twitter. You do all sorts of things to defame the character of other people that disagree with you. That is why so many people have a problem with you, Davi Vanity. It's not all about the music. If it was just the shitty music you produced and you were genuine guys with a shitty fan base, not a lot of people would have a problem with you. But the very fact that you feed off the energy of your fame and you encourage these kind of acts for your fans to attack other people that disagree with you, that makes you total bad guys. That makes you total dipshits. That is why people hate you. You're getting so creative with my pictures in your Photoshop. Make something out of nothing with your fabricated photo on. Anything negative. Anything negative. Talking about Blood of the Dance Floor, Javon Monroe, Dobby Vanity is Photoshopped. Anything negative about those things is fake. Again, bullshit. Because I have seen Twitter posts myself on Blood on the Dance Floor's official Twitter. I have seen their hypocrisy on their Twitter page. The stuff, the screenshots that are on the Facebook pages from the Twitter posts, they're real as well. I can verify this. The only thing that may be photoshopped are the memes that are either making fun of the fan base of Blood on the Dance Floor or straight up mocking Blood on the Dance Floor. You are just trying to find any escape to make yourself look like the better person than you actually are. Find it so disgusting, you waste all your time on me. All of this injustice from a life filled with disease. Damn it to the cross with your slander telling geeks. Just like Jesus Christ, I will pay for your salvation. Okay, first of all, wasting our time on you. Uh, I thought haters made you famous. I thought haters uh, did a good service for you, Dobby Vanity. And uh, like Jesus, I'll pray for your salvation. Again, you're comparing yourself to a religious figure. As an ex-Christian myself, I still find this fucking offensive. That you would compare yourself to the suffering that Jesus Christ went through. Jesus Christ was whipped with whips. Razors? He had to carry a cross while being beaten and kicked for miles on end? Drag up a fucking mountain? Get nails in his fucking hands and feet? And drink vinegar from a sponge? He was stabbed with a spear? He went through all sorts of torture. What the fuck have you gone through, Dobby Vanity? Whether you believe in Jesus Christ or not, you have to be somewhat offended by the very fact that Dobby Vanity compares himself to that level. Your life is so pathetic, I'll be joyous and celebration. All your hatred has become the final source of your damnation. Sticking YouTube videos of one side of the story. I, I don't know about other YouTubers out there, but I know for myself and for a couple of YouTubers that I'm friends with, every time we've done a video on something, we always make sure that we get both sides of the story. I can say for sure with my Blood on the Dance Floor videos, I've shown both sides of the stories. Especially with my Blood on the Dance Floor video, <laughs> Blood of the Dance Floor saves lives with the power of plur. I showed an interview of Blood of the Dance Floor. Therefore, you're getting their side of the story. And then with me speaking, you're getting my opinions and facts backed up by evidence in that video. 
<laughs> so, you saying that all of us haters get only one side of the story? Bull fucking shit. You compare yourself to superheroes, you plagiarize from other people, you fucking send your fan base to send death threats and harass other people that disagree or hate your music and who you are as people, you will do anything to keep your high throne. You'll do anything to feed your narcissistic egos. Rumors going around that I'm a crazy loose cannon Well fucking Uncle Green like the Hulk can do some damage I wish the Incredible Hulk was real for five seconds. I really fucking do. So that he'd Hulk smash the fuck out of you. Before you go accuse me, better get your facts straight. Defense is not bullying when you're victim of this hate. Defense isn't bullying. Is that why on Twitter you talked about getting a lawyer to sue every single hater that is disagreeing with your views and not liking your music, Davi Vanity. And don't say that that's photoshopped because I've seen that on your Twitter as well. As a matter of fact, I hope you die with a fat dick in your eyes. Scrutinize with your life, I will back down, I will rise. <laughs> Even if you try suing us haters, Davi Vanity, you're ruining your case with lyrics like these. Wishing death on us. Wishing death on Ashley Costello on stage and telling her to die a slow death and calling her a slut. And don't you fucking say that I was just for show, because we know the truth, Davi Vanity. We know what kind of person you are. You are a narcissistic egomaniac that wants to feed off any sort of fame by plagiarizing, by harassing other people, by making your shitty fucking music, by looking like rainbow trannies. So on so forth. It's all politics, wait again, babe. They feed me your friends, throwing them into the flames. When the smoke clears, you really guilt you won. Here's my last bullet, up the barrel of my death death threats. Gun. Death threats? Death threats? Done. I'm over. No the righteous man. I'm sick and tired of trying to make you people understand. When they close their cats in on holy hands with death. Just remember all I sacrificed. Here's my final breath. What the fuck have you sacrificed for us, Davi Vanity? What have you sacrificed for us? <laughs> Is this another attempt to compare yourself to Jesus Christ? Really? Because in the Christian religion, Jesus Christ is dying for our sins. Uh, are you, Davi Vanity, saying that you're a messiah for your little cult? And don't even fucking say that the cult claim is bullshit because you said yourself that the SGTC was not a fan base but it is in fact a cult. I believe in every single one of you inside this room right now. We are not a fan base, we are a cult! Exactly. with the threats but uh just a minute with the whole uh, pedophilia and rape charges thing uh hypothetically speaking let's say you are not a pedophile and let's say you've never raped anybody davi vanity 
without those charges and without you having that trademark, you still would be a bully and you still would be a fucking hypocrite with all the things you've done on stage, with all the things you've done with the bands that have toured with you on Facebook and Twitter posts. You have still done so much to damage your reputation and to make people despise you even more. And even if you had not had sex with these preteens, you still did a lot of things that questioned people. Like licking a 13 year old girl's face, sticking your ass to the audience, which your audience is mainly preteens, <laughs> having a sign that says flash me, and you know goddamn well that your fan base, the majority of them, are fucking preteens, and if anybody's a fan base that's a fucking adult, then they have the same childlike mindset as a fucking ten year old. Shove it to your eyes, suck it, but this is the way I love it, giving me the justice that I rightfully deserve. Closing up the chapter two, all that is absurd. When you listen to my music, listen to it word for word. Listen to your music word for word. That is exactly what I'm doing right now. That's exactly what I've done this entire fucking time, Davi Vanity. People like me don't just look at a few lines and then come up with our own conclusions. People like me tend to be critical thinkers and look into things. If we're wrong about something, then we'll fess up to it, we'll apologize, and we'll improve from there. You, no, you don't learn from your mistakes. You still bash people, you still send your fan base to attack people, you still have a bitch fit. Your bitch fits are like the equivalents of a fucking teenage girl that would get her ex-boyfriend false charges of rape, ruining the rest of his life just because the relationship went wrong. You are the exact same way handling your issues, Davi Vanity, and for that, people like you fucking disgust me. Understand my meaning and my breath will be reversed. Hey, 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 who you cannot fucking break? Hey, 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 cause I got what it takes. Hey, 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 all the music that I make. Jealousy's a bitch and I'm fucking in her face. How do I taste? Uh, Jealousy and I had a conversation the other day and uh, she talked about uh, her sexual encounter with you and she said that you were about three and a half inches plus your dick smelled like four and a half year old um, moldy tacos and your pre-cum tasted like the inside of an anus of a fucking Mexican fighting bowl. One other thing I forgot to mention, then you'll understand my meaning. Uh, what about the meaning of this song right here, Davi Vanity? Uh, I refuse to sink, fuck the fame. Uh, let's read what those lyrics have to say really quick. I hate your drama, rumors, and all the bullshit that you spread. If killing wasn't illegal, I would shoot you in the head. I'm pulling on the triggers, I'm pointing middle fingers. If you think I'm giving up, then you're really out of fucks. I can do it for the win, busting out with a grin, going strong, holding hands, and you know our life is bam bam. DMX version of this next verse right here. Try to fuck with me? You get what you deserve. All these bitches want revenge, so I dodge them and I swerve. I hear those bitches talk, cause they drum a bullshit, but I'm never going down, you can't sing my battleship. Ah, uh, more talk of the hate, Davi Vanity. You would kill your haters. Even if you wouldn't literally kill your haters, Davi Vanity, you are still showing a strong hatred towards the people that disagree with you. And I wouldn't be too surprised if you actually went through with killing a few of your haters, considering the fact that you consider the SGTC a fucking cult, considering all the fucking evidence there is to show that you yourself are a fucking bully, a harasser, and just anything that labels a person that needs to be despised. 
that is you Davi Vanity. Now before I end the video here, I do want to give a couple shoutouts really quick. Uh, the Facebook group Blown of the Dance Floor is the Diary of Music did a really solid review of this song, Crucified by Your Lies. And the post was done by Bradley, and I'm going to be posting the Facebook page in the description down below. As well as Ash Pierce the Vial. She did a pretty awesome reaction video to the song as well. And I'm going to leave the video for that in the description down below. She also happens to be a former fan of Blown on the Dance Floor, for those that don't know. And when she found out all this information about Davi Vanity, it really broke her heart. I wish more former fans were like that. I wish more fans of Blood on the Dance Floor were open-minded like that. And uh, we can't end a video properly like this without the mug. Davi Vanity, Javon Monroe, and uh, the SGTC take a good note of the text of my cup. Cheers! Today's episode was brought to you by Orange Amp. It is fucking good. That's all I gotta say about that. Stay tuned for more videos. Take care. See you later. Cue an epic outro music now. Welcome. Won't you please step aside and follow the hollow? Right,